Hello, it's Justin Woodall, your trusted Athens Real Estate Advisor. Today I want to talk to you about getting your offer accepted as a buyer when you find yourself in a multiple offer situation. And over you know, the last couple of years, as inventory has been down, we've seen more and more multiple offer situations where you're not the only buyer looking for a house like the one that was just listed. And so what happens is there's not much for sale, a great new house comes on the market and all the buyers rush out to see it and you find yourself making an offer and you come in really strong what you feel like and next thing you know someone else has also made an offer and the seller comes back and says hey we've got multiple offers bring us your highest and best by noon tomorrow that's typically what that picture looks like so how do you as a buyer get your offer accepted over someone else's in that situation um, and if the stronger you come in on the beginning, the less chance someone else may swoop in. But if you're in a multiple offer situation, how do you win in that situation? So I'm just going to give you a few tips. One, I would say try to keep your due diligence period as short as possible. If you're wanting to compete with another buyer, keep your due diligence short. As a seller, they're looking at that and saying, wow, they want 15 or 20 days for due diligence. This other offer, they only need a week. So if you can get your home inspection done in a week, keep that due diligence down to seven days or five days or as short as you can, that's gonna make that look more attractive to uh, the seller. If you can pay cash, write it up as a cash offer with no financing contingency, no appraisal contingency. Or if you feel confident in your financing and you don't care if it appraises low, then and you're able to make up the difference, then don't include a financing and appraisal contingency. Only include a short due diligence. And that's gonna give you a leg up and make your offer look a little more appealing than another. Uh, and then of course, price is also big. Uh, so you wanna offer the best price, offer the most that you're willing to pay. But I, oftentimes I have seen where two offers, yours might be a little higher, but if the other one is cash or the other one has a shorter due diligence or less contingencies, I have seen sellers choose to go with the cash offer or the one with lesser contingencies if there's only $1,000 or two apart. They feel like there's less risk with that offer. So if you're working with a top-notch agent, they will be able to explain to you some of these tricks and some of these techniques um, that can make your offer look stronger and give you a leg up in the negotiating. One other way to make your offer stronger is to make higher than normal earnest money deposit. You probably know this, but during the due diligence period, your earnest money is completely refundable. So if you get a home inspection, find out there's a problem with that home, you can always walk away. But Put something crazy like $10,000 earnest money if you have the funds because it's all applied towards your down payment. So as long as you want that house and you know you're gonna move forward, uh, you're not at harm there. The problem is if you get cold feet at the last minute, you're gonna lose that, but it makes the seller know you're sincere, you're serious about buying their house. So that would be another technique to enhance your offer. So if you're thinking about buying a house and need some tips or need some advice, reach out to us, we'll be glad to help.